We're working on a real life scenario here with a sequence. And this particular one says that your salary, you get a job as a police officer, your salary for the first year is $43,125. The good news is that you receive a raise of 7% every single year. So year two, you'll make 7% more than this. Year three, you'll make 7% more than you did in year two. So it says, how much will your salary be at the start of year six? And this is kind of helpful because you can see what type of job you want to accept. Maybe you've got two different offers. And one of them starts you higher but has a lower amount of inquiries. So we'll work through this one here. The very first thing we need to do is determine if this one is a geometric or an arithmetic sequence. So the way that we determine this one, an arithmetic sequence, is that we're adding it to the previous amount every year. If we have the same amount that we're adding it to, it's the exact same dollar amounts. So for instance, if it was increasing by $1,200 every year, that would be an arithmetic sequence. A geometric sequence means that we're multiplying it by the same amount every year. In this case, we're multiplying it uh, by 7% higher. So that is a multiplication factor. So this one is a geometric sequence. OK, well, that's helpful because what we'll do now is we'll uh, bring in our formula for generic geometric sequences here. And this is generic because we don't have any information filled in here. But we do know some information, so let's start plugging in what we know. Well, we know a of 1. a of 1 is the very first term in the sequence, or the amount that we started with. And the amount that we start with here is going to be 43,125. Now, we also know the ratio. The ratio is 7% higher than this one. So if this one was 100%, this one would be 107%. So it's actually 107% of the previous amount. So the way that we'd write that is a decimal form, form 1.07. So the ratio is 1.07 of this one. Okay, And that's if we took this one here, our first term, and we multiplied it by 1.07. That would be 7% higher than our first term. So that's where we get that from. So let's plug that information in. This is my first term, 43,125. And this is my ratio, 1.07. Uh, now what we can do is this asks us to find how much our salary would be at the year, start of year 6. So for the sixth year, we plug in 6 for n. I take this n here, and I'm going to plug in 6 for this n. I'll also plug in 6 for this n down here. And now I'm just really going to simplify what's on the right-hand side. In fact, you can just plug that into your calculator. We'll give you the answer for you. That makes it nice. If you want to do it by hand, that's OK, too. Uh, 6 minus 1 will give me 5. Uh, using our order of operations, I have to take care of this exponent first. So this point, excuse me, 1.07 to the fifth power I have to do first. Notice how I don't round this. Um, I let it go as far as I possibly can. Uh, that helps me in the end. This one we're going to round to the nearest whole number. I did not specify that in this case, but that's what I'm going to do just for your knowledge. Um, and I just multiply these two together, and that should give me 60,485. Now, these are this is a dollar amount, so you could uh, put a dollar sign on it. That would be fine. If you're doing it on the online system, however, it specifically asks for no labels on it at all. The computer has troubles when you put labels on it. So just write in the, the figures, the digits, I should say, uh, 60,485.